Hello everyone. Um, in this video, I will show you how to solve the um, LP problem using artificial variable, the first example in the LP assistant program. So you open your LP assistant, open a new problem, then you get an untitled problem looking like this. And uh, let's um, go through the setup, the process. So first you want to put in the original system of constraint and the objective function. So let's go through that. So we see we have um, four variables. So we need to go to Tableau and add a regular variable. And we have two constraints. So the number of constraints is OK. And then let's go through and punch in the number. So this would be one and uh, negative two, let me just punch this in, negative three, next four is negative two here, and the uh, right hand side is three, and then for the second constraint I get one, negative one, no, and two, and one, and the right hand side is eleven, and let me put in the objective function. So I have 2 here, negative 3 here, 1, 1, and that's 0. Okay, so that's the um, just the original constraint. And then it's not in canonical form, but we do have um, positive on the right hand side. So we're going to add artificial variables. We'll add one for each. So here, the way to add artificial variable, let's say for the first constraint is by clicking this X. When you click on it and you see there is a tab said add artificial variable and you want to click on that. And then you see it adds an artificial variable X5 for this first constraint and it adds a column and then adds an additional row here. Okay, and I'll explain that soon. So let's see for the second um, constraint, we also need to add an artificial variable. And let's click on that and add an artificial variable. And now you see x6 is being added. And uh, here it's in a canonical form with the basic variable x5 and x6 for the new constraint here. And the right hand side is positive. Now let's look at this in highlighted yellow part over here. So what does it what does what does that mean? That is actually the equation for the the W that we introduced. W equal x5 plus x6, and we try to minimize the W by solving that we could put the original constraint into canonical form. Okay? So how, do, how does it get this number negative 2? Well, it's adding up this column. 1 plus 1 is 2. And then put the negative. So I get negative 2. And then here, negative 2, negative 3 add up. You get negative 3. And you take the negative part of that, you get 3. So okay, just reverse the sign. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. And you change the sign, you put positive 1. And negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. And what you, what you get here is 1. So this step is done automatically in the LP assistant. You don't need to do anything. Okay, You just need to add the corresponding artificial variables as you click on the x. And then um, how, what's this value? How does the, com how does the app lit compute this value? Well, it's 3 plus 11, which is 14, and you make the negative of it. Okay, and now um, with this being added, then you see that taking 1 and 2 as the constraint, and this is the equation for the objective function. Okay, so we will first try to solve this one to make this 0, to um, move out of x5 and x6 as the basic variable. Okay, So the next step is to pivot. So let's click 
on pivot and now we are in the pivot mode. So the first step to pivot is to um, solve the minimization problem for this w and then we look at the objective function and we see there is a negative term here minus two and uh, then we need to choose between these twos and to pivot and which one has the smaller ratio well over here we see the ratio is three which is shown right there and we hover over this the ratio is 11 so that's smaller so we're going to click on that okay so after we click on this then we see that now x1 is replacing x5 as a basic variable and then we still have x6 okay so then let's look at these these equation here and we see that there are three negative coefficients and this is the most negative one and let's pick that and then look at here the coefficients we see only one is positive and that's the one we're going to pivot so we're going to click on the five okay and then uh, after you've done that then you see that um for the equation for w now we have all positive coefficients for the objective function w which means the minimum of w is reached and it's zero so by what we learned this means that if the minimum of w is zero then that means the original constraint has a feasible solution and we have managed to put the original one in canonical form as we see here x1 and x3 are the basic variable now and then they take the value here and that's the basic solution okay so once you have reached this step that's the first stage that means now you have put your original lp problem in canonical form from now on you would neglect the shaded yellow part you discard that now we look at the, the objective function of z this row here and we look at the two coefficients that are not shaded and we see that one of them is negative mm -hmm. then we have to decide which two of these we should click and then we see only one is positive so that will be clicked we click on that and then we get this table and then we look at the this line here for the objective function the non-highlighted ones we see both are positive two and two so you can conclude that the minimum of z is found it's the negative value of that is 14 and is obtained as x1 is 19 x2 is 8 and x3 and x4 are zero okay so um hope that was fine and uh, um i'll see you in the next video